Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make smoked chicken drumsticks. All right, so we're gonna get started by setting our barbecue up. We're gonna be using our Oklahoma Joe's Bronco drum today. We'll start by taking our cooking grate off, then we'll take our heat deflector out. Next, we just wanna fill our charcoal basket up. This isn't gonna be a long cook today. We're looking at around two hours, so we're just gonna half fill it. Then we can bury a couple of fire lighters in there and light them up. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes before those briquettes are gonna be ready. So we'll use that time to trim and season these drumsticks. All right, so we're just gonna start by peeling the skin down on our drumsticks. This is gonna expose a tendon that we wanna get rid of on the underside here. All right, and then the next thing we wanna do is just get a nice sharp knife, just get underneath that tendon, work our way up, and then just back down, being careful to not slice through that skin. You can trim off any other sort of silver skin sitting underneath, but I don't go too crazy. The main thing is just getting rid of that tendon. All right, and then next, we wanna season these chicken drumsticks up. So underneath the skin, I'm just gonna give a nice light coat of our honey soy slammer. Now you can use whatever flavor combination you like, but next, we just wanna get this skin back over the meat. All right, and then on the outside, we're just gonna to top it off with our steak shooter rub. All right, now these are all trimmed and seasoned. Let's check on our briquettes. All right, so our briquettes have caught light nicely. So what we can do now is shut our lid and make sure both our top and intake vent is wide open. Now we just wanna give our smoker five or 10 minutes to come up to just below our smoking temperature, which for this cook is gonna be around the 250 Fahrenheit to 120 Celsius range. All right, so while our barbecue is coming up to temperature, I'm just gonna lay a foil tray down on our lid, and then I'm gonna get about two tablespoons worth of butter in there. And I just wanna melt that butter down because our drumsticks are gonna be smoking in this foil tray in a butter bath from the start of this cook. All right, so it's been five minutes. Our barbecue's pretty much up to temperature. Our butter's melted, so we can take this off. We'll get our drumsticks in. Then I'm gonna place about a teaspoon worth of butter on top of each one. Then we can come back to our smoker, open it up. I've got a beautiful chunk of nectarine from natural smoke we'll get in. We'll get that straight on where the fire's burning. Then we'll get our heat deflector in, then our cooking grate and our drumsticks. Then we'll shut our lid and let these smoke away. All right, so for the first part of this cook, we're gonna let our drumsticks smoke away in that tray for about an hour and a half. All right, so our drumsticks have been going for about an hour and a half now. Let's have a look at them. All right, so these are looking great. Got some beautiful color to them. What we're gonna do now is just cover the tray in foil. Then we're just gonna poke some holes in the foil. And now we can shut our lid. So by covering that tray in foil, we're basically going to be steaming that chicken now to soften the skin. We're going for that nice, soft, bite through skin, not crispy skin. So we're gonna give our chicken around 20 to 30 minutes wrapped up in that tray before we check on them. If you steam your chicken for too long, you'll find that the skin starts to split. But if you do want all that skin intact, you might wanna run your temperatures a little bit lower and you might wanna steam them for a little bit less time. So we'll give these around 20 minutes wrapped up in that tray, then we'll come back. All right, and while that chicken's steaming away, you can go ahead and heat up a sauce or glaze if you want to use one. We're gonna be using Smoke and Mango's Cherry Jalapeno Glaze a great South Aussie product. Like I said, if you've got another favorite sauce or glaze, feel free to use that, or you don't have to use one at all if you don't want to. So we're just gonna heat that up on top of our lid while our chicken's steaming away, so we'll be back soon. All right, so we've been wrapped up for a little over 20 minutes here. So we'll take our glaze off, open our lid, take this foil off, and I'm hoping you can pick that up. As you can see, our chicken started to just split ever so slightly there. We'll have a quick check of our internal. I'm usually happy if my drummies are anywhere between 185 Fahrenheit to around 200 Fahrenheit or 85-ish Celsius to 93-ish Celsius. These are right on 200 Fahrenheit. You can always get one out at this stage as well, have a bite and make sure that skin is bite through. If it's not, you can always steam them for another five or 10 minutes. For now, I'm gonna chuck some gloves on. I just like to wear some thin, cheap gardening gloves from Bunnings. I'll wear these under my plastic gloves. That way I don't burn my hand when I'm handling this chicken and they're not super bulky where I can't really move my hand around. So what we'll do now is we'll take this tray out. We'll chuck a cake rack in. We'll sit our glaze in there and one by one, we're just gonna dunk our chicken into this glaze, give it a bit of a spin around, then we'll get them out and lay them on the cake rack. 
All right, and as you can see, the color's looking beautiful on them already. So what we'll do now is we'll shut our lid and we'll give them five minutes for that sauce to set. All right, it's been a few minutes. These are looking awesome. Now, if you want to give them a second sauce, go ahead. But these are ready to eat now. All right, so we've just let this one cool off for a moment. Now it's time to taste. As you can see, beautiful, clean, bite through skin, tender and juicy meat. That is delicious. So there you have it. There's how to make smoked chicken drumsticks. It's a cheap and relatively quick and easy meal to do. That's also quite a similar process to how we do competition style chicken. We just take it a few steps further when we're trimming and then we'll play around with injections and brines as well. But if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. That's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.